Did you ever watch The Croods? I did, but it's tied to a bad memory. Ex girlfriend? Yep. Y'all mack it up on in the movie no. theater. No. No, not at all. It's no. just No. God no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how I look. <laughs> at least I hope not. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh now The Croods, it was a pretty funny movie. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it, a it was lot. a, a well put together movie. Um and there was a sequel planned, but it's been forever. It has been. I've... It never came out. And the Croods 2 is now extinct. <laughs> um, DreamWorks that Animation's title. 2013 film, The Croods, won't receive a, fe- a sequel. A fecal. fecal. <laughs> <laughs> it is fecal matter now. <laughs> Anytime soon, as The Croods 2 have been removed from the studio's production cycle. Corner Variety, Universal Pictures chairman Donnie Langley traveled to DreamWorks headquarters in Glendale yesterday to break the news, telling the studio to immediately cease production on Croods 2. Could you imagine? There, there was about approximately 30 people working on this. Could you imagine putting on all that time, three years of work, and be like, hey guys, you're not doing that anymore. But you're still awesome. Keep up the good work. Uh, I brought cookies for everyone. <laughs> oh, I, I, I hate when that happens. Just like I hate when when games hit that point where they're like, you know, so close to being you know released, but then they shut mm-hmm. everything down. I hate. I hate for my time to be wasted, and I hate that you know. There's been times when I've worked so hard for something, and then they'd be like, "Oh well, we're not doing this anymore," and you're just like, "Well, why? Re- really? Yeah." And you know, like you said, the first Crude's hilarious movie. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really, really well made. Enjoyed it a lot, and you know, I'd been waiting for the Crude's too. To you know, to hear something. You about you it. just like had it on your calendar, and you just like uh, sitting not- at your bed, and you're just like. No, not me. But you know, when I at the <laughs> end, like obviously, with it being three years, it kind of popped out of memory, and I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah. But you know, I hate it for the people who had been working. Those thirty people, I hate it for them. Yeah, it does suck. But you know, it is what it is. They saw that it probably wasn't going to do do well, and you know, we're finally after freaking forever getting an Incredibles 2 which that should have happened a long like time two years ago. after it released the first one. I mean you're seeing that kind of like with uh, the, the Finding Dory like they're yeah, just waiting like, so long that they shouldn't do that. Okay I understand you're waiting for the people that you, they've watched those to grow up and everything. Stop it. Just keep making them just pump them out like an Assassin's Creed game or a Call of Duty. <laughs> Every year <laughs> until we get tired of it just keep pumping them out. Because I mean even if it was two to three years after the first Incredibles or after Finding Nemo, I would have went and saw the second one. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, before our math teacher at uh, Jay ruined Finding Nemo for everybody, watching it like 30 times in one year, you didn't have him, apparently. I didn't have him. I don't know but, uh, which one you're talking about. Oh, do we? Oh. Oh, Stan. <laughs> but uh, I would have watched it. I would have watched both of them. But, I mean, I'm still going to go see them. But I wish they would come out a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. It'd make life a little bit easier. Yeah, it would be. So, continuing with some Disney news. Have you seen the new Rogue One teaser trailer and or the international trailer? How long ago did it come out? Like this week. Then no, because I've been without internet for like four days. Ah. Well, that sucks. It, It does. I was at mom's and the router broke. Mm. I was having to watch Ashlyn. Mm. So I'm just staring at her. Just, yeah, she was my entertainment. <laughs> go, go do a trick. Roll over. <laughs> <laughs> so the the trailer, the teaser trailer, because like the United States gets shortchanged on freaking everything when it comes to trailers. Um, didn't show a lot. Uh, it sh- showed uh, like Tie Fighter Squadron, like flying and all of that, and then. Showed some more Darth Vader. I think Darth Vader is going to be in this more than people are thinking. I really do. I really do think. I don't know. Like, he's not going to be a prominent character, yeah. but I think he's going to have a little bit more than people are expecting, which is totally fine by me. Like, Yeah, I just, I hope it just doesn't take away from the movie. I don't think it will. Like, I think he'll be there to make sure that production gets on schedule. Everything's going accordingly to my plans. Exactly. Um, then the international trailer. Oh my God! It was like a plethora of everything. 
it was like hope springs eternal and hope actually came back as like a physical thing <laughs> there was so many new scenes and new dialogue and we already we already found out that jan um her father is the one that's yeah. creating everything but it delved in a little bit more and do you want me to want me to say i'm gonna watch it after this spoilers if you don't want to know i'm hey. gonna tap my head okay i'm gonna tap my head when we start this and I'll tap my head again when we stop. Okay, not that one. Here we go. Here's here's the first tap. Okay, so the when her father is taking away, like some woman like comes out of nowhere. I don't know. Like it was just cut, but she hands her a crystal and says, "Trust in the force." Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a lightsaber crystal. It is. It's focusing crystal. Crystal. Yeah. Crystal. Crisco. Nope, nope. No, not, not, not yet. Not yet. But how cool would that be? I know. Like, that would be I, freaking awesome. I don't think she's a Jedi, necessarily, but uh, old Donnie Yen, a Wu-Tang Clan man. I love Donnie Yen. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> he, might, he might be. Uh, but it, it, was, it, was, it was very interesting. I, so, it, yeah, you need to I, watch it. I, yeah, I guess once I leave here, I will definitely watch it. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for the, 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 the crystal. Yeah, me too. Okay, guys. Just so uh, if you lost, listen to the audio version, you might have heard <laughs> Robbie's like smack up on top of his head. But if you're watching the video version, then you got to see. It's a pretty, it's a pretty loud smack. I well, it was a loud smack. Sorry. But uh, I'm excited for it. Um, getting a little bit more Darth Vader is cool. And we're getting really, really close. December 16th. Oh, my God. Dude. It is the best Christmas present to get a Star it Wars is. movie it is. in December. Like, and, and that you could see in theaters. Yeah. Like, I thought, like, when they originally moved 7 into December, I was like, this is blasphemy. Like, this is utter blasphemy. But it makes a lot more sense because there's not a lot going on in December. Yeah. And plus, in the summer, you're fighting all of the superhero movies. So moving it to December just kind of like, it's like, I'm going to wreck everybody and everything I, that comes there's nothing everybody. that's going to be even close to touching me yeah exactly so, so I, I think it's a good idea and if you haven't watched it then please go watch it because it is freaking cool now we're going to jump into something that's a tale as old as time yes sorry and, so I, I was like i had a, I, had a, I had thought of that so <clears throat> so the new newest promo image for beauty and the beast shows emma watson um and in the ball gown and dan stevens which is Beast, she's mm-hmm. Belle, uh, in the ball gown, and they're dancing. And it's very reminiscent of one of the original posters for... Have you seen the original poster? Yeah. Back, back, back in the day. Back in the day. Um, you know, it's very, very reminiscent of what it is, the most beautiful love story ever told. And I think it's really cool. Um, I'm, I'm actually kind of excited for this one. I am, too. Like, I have... I have liked all of nope. the Disney remakes so Cinderella. far. You sucked. I, I liked Cinderella. Sucked. I mean, yeah. There was and, one song, and it was like just like a tidbit, and I'm like, oh, well, out on the grand scheme of things, on all of them, yes, it is the worst that has come out <laughs> like so Jungle far. Jungle Book was awesome. I love Jungle Book. I haven't watched Tarzan yet. Really good. Really good. Is it super good? It's super good. <laughs> I haven't Superman. used super. I, I haven't know. used super as much. <laughs> I need to bring it back, <laughs> but I, I'm excited for for Beauty and the Beast. I'll, the cast they have for this is by far the most amazing thing that I've seen, and I hope that they mm-hmm. continue casting other Disney movies like The Lion King, like Mulan, with you know a star-studded cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a few names in here: Emma Watson, Dan Stevens, Luke Evans, Ewan McGregor. Um, Ian McClellan, Emma Thompson. Those are just a few of the names in there. I don't remember who Emma Thompson is, to be honest. Oh, Let's... I must say, there's a there's a nifty thing called Google. Emma Thompson. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, she was in uh, Sense and Sensibility, Saving Mr. Banks. Um, <laughs> just like the random Love Actually. Howard's End. I don't know what that is. Well, let's, let's Look see at what the else. other movies. Uh, Brave. Brave. Last Chance Harvey. Love Punch. Nanny McPhee. Men, Men in Black. Black 3. 
Oh yeah, she was Nanny McPhee. Awful movie, my opinion. She's been the prisoner. An education. Treasure Planet. Junior. How could we forget the wonderful movie that was Junior, <laughs> where Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> was pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> and Danny DeVito was in it, and then our, so uh, it was like twins, but <laughs> he was pregnant. Oh, let's let's just read the, the, <laughs> the bio, bio of this. A research scientist becomes the world's first pregnant man in order to test a drug he and a colleague have designed for expectant women. To carry out the trial, he has an em- embryo implant, believing that he will only carry the baby for three months, hardly expecting to face the prospect of giving birth. And this is <laughs> the great ex-governor... <laughs> Of California, yes, Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> nomination. Now, now this, this right here, <laughs> nominations: Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. There's more. Click on more. Or not? Okay, maybe not. I Junior, thought... let, let's let's see. Cu- Cu- Cuba Gooding Junior. <laughs> um, ch- 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 didn't win anything. Release date. November 23rd, 1994, and it ran for 109 minutes. Budget, $60 million. Box office, 108. Back then, that was good. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Um, for C- <laughs> The film received negative <laughs> reviews with a 32% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes with an average score of 4.7. Say, I, the Rotten Tomatoes wasn't around when that came out, <laughs> so I'm not taking that with the... Um, I think they went back and watched it and was like, uh, yeah. Does it doesn't say if what they won? No, it doesn't. Uh, comedian, uh, comedy ever. Notable Roger Ebert was a fan of the film, film, giving it a three and a half out of four stars and maintaining that. I know this sounds odd, but Schwarzenegger is perfect for the role. Observe his acting carefully in Junior, and you'll see skills that many serious actors could only envy. Like a man giving birth. Two thumbs up. Jesus Christ. We we went down the rabbit hole. I'm we sorry, did. guys. We did. Um, All because we were trying to look up this lady. <laughs> yes, exactly. So <clears throat> that does it pretty much for the movie and TV news. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, we, we've had several, several questions on this. Um, actually, there's one more. Sorry, guys. Um, from Virginia Burton, she says, first time caller, hey, how did you feel about the casting Scarlet and Ghost in the Shell or Gits? How do you feel after seeing some of the trailer trailers slash teasers? Um, I think Scarlett Johansson has the skill set for this kind of movie. Uh, her being Scarlet Witch just kind of like makes her perfect for it. In my opinion, she's an action star at this point in time. Um, Did you... Scarlett Johansson. Okay, you said Scarlett Witch. Scarlett Witch. I mean, uh, Black Widow. (laughs) Scarlett (laughs) Johansson, Scarlett Witch. It all works out, guys. It does, it does. That's that Olsen. Not the Olsen twins, but the other Olsen, like their sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got you. Scarlett Witch. But uh, I think she she has the great skill set and everything, and I know a lot of people are like, Oh, they're whitewashing everything. In some movies, yes, like that Great Wall of China movie. <laughs> like that one, yes. That one is totally, and uh, I really don't care about Doctor Strange. I, don't, I haven't watched it, so I can't really judge it. But from just the teaser trailer and everything, I think it works. Like, um, I think it looks cool. I never watched the anime, so I can't really like <laughs> be like, and this time, this person that was a ghost. Yeah. I I want to see like from watching all the trailers and and reading about this I want to I want to watch the anime I want to go back and find it I'm sure I can, but Scarlett Johansson she's a great actress but whenever they first announced it I was like uh, I don't know about this, mm-hmm. but as I've watched the trailer and everything, she looks like a natural fit for it. Yeah, I understand a lot of people are saying the whole whitewashing thing, but you got to think they were looking for a a huge female actor that's 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 known everywhere. Yeah, and that and, can do the stuff. And that can do it. And who better than the Black Widow? 
Everybody knows the Marvel movies. Everybody mm-hmm. knows Black Widow. Everybody knows Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. So I think she was a really good fit uh, just by watching all of the, you know, the acrobatics, the the really cool fight scenes. And the, I think she's going to do well, and I think this movie's going to do well. Yeah, I think it will, too, as long as people go out and support it that have enjoyed yeah. the anime and people that are curious uh about it I, I think it can do a good job at this and if people go watch it then they can make another one and like yeah. actually you know delve a little bit deeper into it so um here's hoping for the for the best for the movie. yeah and virginia thanks for stopping by yeah come back yeah you here come back now you here. <laughs>